Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, Elias was hit by a car and wound up in a demonic world. A demon named Hades took interest in her because she's a Lissa remnant and offered to help her, only to flee at the sight of a ghost. Uh... Well, I pressed a series of buttons that I don't know how I got to that. Okay, I'm pressing the menu button, and that's the cancel button. I want to press Z to confirm. Oh, that was simple. So I'm assuming SP is experience. She is gold. Scary. Oh! I can't beat so many of them. Not alone. What? Oh, another new character. It's your first time in combat, right, newbie? I can see it in your eyes. Uh, yeah? Don't worry, I'll teach you the basics. Start by attacking them. Okay, now that I know what button I'm... Well, there's a new icon up there. Uh, we'll just go ahead and do regular attacks for both of you. And now let's do a special attack. We don't necessarily need to. Uh, back up. How much MP do we got? 90. Sure. Just to see what it's like. And you have magic. Healing soul. Good, a healer. Love shield. Increased defense. How much MP do you have? 177. Your spells are a little more expensive. But let's go ahead and boost some defense here. Very good! Your power bar increases every time you take damage. When it's full, you will release a special attack. Check it out! You can also use battle skills if you check your ability menu. So, taking 20 points less damage. Let's do regular attacks again. So, 50 damage normally, 90 damage with a special attack. That's all? Hmm, that sounds simple. Calm down, newbie. There's still a single detail that I haven't taught you. Check your pockets. Huh? Why? I shoved my hand in my pocket as she asked me to. In battle, you can use items that can help you in some way, whether as a recovery or even an accessory. But remember well the skills you have, the enemy may also have. Be very careful. Right. I have no idea what she's talking about, but it's with the practice that you can learn, right? Okay, I think they're all gone. You did extremely well for a beginner, but you still have a lot to learn. Thank you so much, Miss... Uh... Pan. Thank you so much, Pan. Hey, won't you tell me your name too, girl? <laughs> oh, my name, right. My name? Elias. Elias? What a cute name. It suits you. Thanks. Huh? Uh. 
Wow, your leg got hurt so badly. Here, let me cover your wound. That's nothing. <laughs> At least I'm in one piece. If it wasn't for you... For a newcomer to this world, you are pretty tough. Not bad. Newcomer? Uh, how long have you been here? I mean, you look like a human. You shouldn't belong in this world. Right? Can you tell me what this place is? I may tell you how I got here later, but I want to clarify one thing. I'm definitely not a human anymore. I'm a spirit. And... Elias? If you're truly a human, as you say... There's only one way you could have arrived here while still maintaining your human body. Only being... Elisa Remnant. Oh, this must be the second or third time I've heard this word today. Take your seat. Eh? I'm going to tell you a story, and I need you to pay attention. All your questions can be answered if you do as I say. Uh... Yes? By the way, everything I shall tell you now is true. I know it may seem like I'm kidding, but you have to trust me. So I need you to settle down. It's a long story. I'm focused. You can tell everything. A long, 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 long time ago. This world was ruled by a group of gods. The soul world is a barrier that separates life and death. A wall between the beginning and end. The fountain of life is the center of this world's creation. The cradle of reality, space, and time. Taking control over this fountain is the same as controlling the whole universe. It's an unbearable power. The gods decided to seal this power to prevent any nefarious humans from using it for diabolic purposes. Unfortunately, the gods didn't know that humans weren't the only thing they needed to worry about. Hera, the goddess of mar marriage and woman, had free access to the fountain, and apart from the other gods, she didn't plan to seal the power of the fountain. To be able to take full control of the fountain, she convinced some gods to help her. So a long war occurred. A war between gods who wanted to use the power of the fountain and gods who knew it was too powerful and shouldn't be used by anyone. It was a very bloody war, but no deaths occurred. After all, gods are immortal. So, a war of attrition then. But such an intense confrontation of powerful forces was enough to trigger an imbalance in the Fountain of Life, putting the entire universe in danger. To prevent the destruction of the entire soul world and finally end the war, a goddess of madness, Lyssa, had a plan. Give up her immor immortality as a sacrifice for the Fountain. Lissa crashed into the fountain, sealing the infinite power eternally and putting an end to the conflict of the gods. Since the fountain connects the entire multiverse, when Lissa crashed into it, her soul and consciousness are scattered throughout the timelines in millions of pieces. 
Wow. And those pieces of soul that spread out created creatures of immense power in different timelines. These people are called the Alyssa Remnants. They are inheritors of the power of a goddess that can cross the boundary between life and death and predict the fate of any human. But first, they need to know how to use this power. According to myths, they can also summon demons that only they can see. You mean like our demon friend, or is that just a coincidence? After that day, however, Hera developed a deadly hatred for Lyssa. Not only, not only because she had sealed the fountain, which Hera longed to possess, but also for ending the conflict she had created. And so, she sought revenge against Lyssa, planning to wipe out all her remnants. She trapped the other gods in hell taking full control of the soul world, and thus finally being able to put her revenge into practice. Hera started warping remnants to this realm so they could be in her control. After doing so, she would make them suffer and kill them in every brutal way you could imagine. She hated them. She was also quite afraid that one of them might become strong enough to overthrow her dictatorship. There are also people who hunt remnants, called Remnant Hunters. They are spirits that search for remnants because of a rumor that Hera spread, saying that anyone who absorbs a remnant soul can go back to the world of living. I'm not sure that I would trust the word of someone who created a war to control the universe, but I suppose that bit of knowledge isn't necessarily known by everyone. The ghosts you saw earlier weren't hunters, they were just souls of torment. Creatures that have been corrupted by not accepting their deaths. Be careful with them. Since the rise of those creatures, I've been trying to protect any soul that go that gets lost here. This is my duty. I'm like a wandering spirit. Okay, quick question. How successful are you at this so far? I'm the protector of the world of death. Look. I know it's too much information. I also took a long time trying to process it. No, I mean... If this is the world of the dead, and you are a spirit, then... Yes, I'm dead. It's too much for my head, but I think I just need a little time to think. Well, it won't help to wait for Hades here. I have to find Sai. He must find a way to catch up. Okay, I'm ready to go. But I don't know if I could handle it alone yet. Can you help me? I need to find my friend Sai. Of course! Why didn't you say it before? I know this place like the back of my hand. I can help you. Pan, join the party. I... I don't know how to thank you. With a single smile, Pan held my hand protectively, and together, we continued our journey. Her kindness reminds me of... her. I assume you might mean Sai. Okay, the song sit playing right now is Break the Ice. Good to know. Anyway, we now know the premise of the game. Elias is a remnant of a goddess 
and Hera has a vendetta against these remnants. Next time, our journey begins to find Alasis's missing friend. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you in the next one.